How you doing, fellas? Uh, here it is, uh, Friday uh, mid-afternoon. Uh, some of you may notice I'm going to do a quick bench update here. Just needed to get a little something out in the open off my chest, if you will. Uh, like I said, it is Friday about uh, noon 30 is what it's rolling up on, about noon 30 uh, here up in California. Uh, you may notice that I'm not wearing uh, my hat. Uh, I got no I got no cowboy hat today. Uh, it was actually left behind uh, in the federal jail cell uh, downtown and there is a bit of a story behind that and if you don't mind I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and let you in on it. Just give me a moment. Those of you that watch my channel you may be aware uh, that I have a puppy dog, a, a youngin. Uh, a little dog type type guy uh, and uh, I'm also married well just the other day I was traveling up in this uh, this uh, airplane it's one of them big shiny tubes with the what you call it uh, sticking out the side of it right and they hand out the peanuts and stuff um, yeah so uh, we are flying along and my phone goes off you know so I, I pick it up. Uh, it's a Kenny's, Kenny Rogers ringtone. I mean, what else would it be, right? Uh, so I, I, I pick up the phone. I said hello. And, and it's my wife uh, letting me know that my puppy dog is missing me, she says. Right? The puppy dog is missing me. So what does she coax me into saying? That's right. Say hi. Say hi. Y'all know what my dog's name is? My dog's name is Jack. So I start shouting out, hi Jack. Right? To my puppy dog on the phone. You see where this is going? Because the next thing you know, I'm doing the Neutron Dance down Electric Avenue with a taser in my back from the air marshal. Who's all too trigger happy to let me have it just one more time just what did I hear hijack one more time I think it was involuntary reflex you know once you got I don't know a couple of billion volts of electricity flowing through you you know you start saying things that well you might not even know you was a saying so anyway that's where my cowboy head is it's I was all too happy to get out the clink and, and the hat got left behind uh, down there in, 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 in the jail cell. Uh, I could tell you what the meals were those days, but honestly, I kept having this little bit of a tick that I developed. <laughs> all right, enough BS, guys. I hope that put a smile on your face for the weekend. If not, well, shite. Maybe something else will. Um, maybe this next model will put a smile on your face or at least get you giggling because yes on my bench as if there wasn't enough going on already there is an automobile those of you that know I've actually finished two the root beer Camaro one of my I think my very first YouTube video I think um, if not one of the first two or three and that actually got completed uh, and I've finished and completed a semi truck, which the paint job on that I'm particularly proud of. Enjoy the hell out of that one, to be quite honest with you. Uh, I'll build another semi, but this time with a trailer. And as soon as my paint skills get a little better, go even a little further over the top. But that's for another build, another day. Right now we're working on the Ford Roadster, the five window. Uh, I decided to build it as the high boy. I do have. Uh, some slicks. Uh, I like the white wall slicks, so I've got some of those on order. You car guys out there, um, the kit came with, well, obviously it came with tires, but it didn't come with the white wall tires. It came with decals for the white wall tires. And I'm just curious. One of them got screwed up, so I can't use them. Uh, but I do have a question. 
are they workable? I mean, is it something that's uh, that you yourself wouldn't mind using, or is it just kind of widely known that, yeah, they had to put a decal in there sometime because they've got a picture on the box, but they're BS. They'll look like crud when they're done. Um, that's my question. So, and to say I struggle with the car assembly is an understatement. I don't know why. I really don't. I, I actually know cars fairly well. Uh, not a master mechanic or a race car driver, but uh, I can't hold my own bench racing, at least. For instance, the block. Uh, yes, I do know this is uh, Ford block and all that good stuff. And because I wanted to use a blower that doesn't come in the kit, I switch things around so the distributor is going to be out back. Which is probably one of, God, you Ford guys are going to hate me for this. Probably one of the only good things Ford ever did in an automobile was put the distributor up front of the motor where it can be accessed and worked on easily. That's an engineering plus. That's a good thing when you consider the people down the road who might have to work on it. Uh, to where nowadays they do engineer that, but they make every part on it a special tool. So you got to go to Snap-on and spend $70 billion for a complete tool set. Um, enough bitching about that because, well, they, they could go on all day. Like I said, it's parts from, let's see here, three different kits on this. Two kits that may or may not ever see the light of day again. Um, the Chevelle wagon probably never will, um, which is kind of a bummer. I like the Magnum type of look, the Dodge Magnum look that I was going for with it. Um, it just overstepped, obviously overstepped my bounds of cutting up a model and putting it back together the way it should go. Uh, now, the old Corvette, which I turned into kind of a speedster looking thing, that has possibilities of seeing the light of day. I opened the box up on that one, and I'll be honest, I was, I still like the idea quite a bit, and I haven't botched it so bad that, um, I can't get in there and shore it up and make it a fairly nice looking ride, I think. You'll be the judge when it gets done. Um, it certainly won't be anytime soon. I don't know why I lose interest in cars. I mean, I love to drive cars. I mean, I, it'd be cool to have a you know Ferrari parked out front and all that good stuff and wonderful. And But if I hit the lottery, it wouldn't be the first thing I go by, you know? It's just not... In my priorities, it's not the top. It's just not. Can't explain it. Go figure. Um, so, now I'm going to show you some of the framework. I'll flip the camera around. It's going to get a bit shaking now for a moment, guys. Hold on to your britches, because it's, it's not an earthquake. I know I'm in a California, and it may seem like, oh, God, it's another one of them big ones. It's not. It's not an earthquake. It's just my shaky hands bringing the camera over to the bench. Here we go. Hold on. Alright guys. I have painted it up blue. I wanted blue uh, frame rails and all that good stuff. And then just got irritated with the fact that, as usual, I was complicating things that really, I, I've already complicated enough with the motor and such that it that it's okay to go box stock. I'm really starting to learn an appreciation for that term. I really am. Uh, the interior. Now that chrome plated gauge cluster actually has gauges on the other side of it and it came with decals. I didn't want to use those. You can see the gauge, uh, what would it be, one end from the left. There's actually an aircraft in the middle of that gauge. That is because those are gauges from a Eddard 124th uh, gauge cluster right here. That was full at one time. I picked it up for about six or seven bucks. And yes, the car is 125th, the gauges are 124th. Can't tell the difference. So, 
And I, to be honest, I think that looks pretty damn snappy looking. It certainly won't be the last time I put gauges like that in there, by any means. Um, I probably should have painted the column and wheel before it went in, but I didn't. I was in a mood to build, not a mood to paint. I have done some uh, sanding and priming. I still, as you can see, I don't know the camera will pick it up here or not. There, you can kind of see that light line right under my finger there. Uh, that was a roof line that was removed for a panel. It's, I guess it's to simulate either cloth or a separate panel uh, on the box art. That's the way it appears anyway. Uh, I didn't want that there, so it is sanded off. The drip rails over the doors, this time I've decided to leave. Even though, even when I was a kid, and when I actually built my Nova, it was notorious for they had to go. And the roof rails, drip rails, just, I don't know. They never appealed to me. And they really were. I could walk up to a beautiful car, and that's the first thing I'd look at and go, that looks like shite. But that's just me. I'm going to paint this... Uh, of all colors metallic silver right here out of this tester's bottle out of uh, I don't know which airbrush I'll probably use one of the cheaper airbrushes as to keep the other airbrushes metallic free um, but this color brushed on comes out pretty darn good I really like it actually it's got uh, at least brushed on thick now, am I going to be able to airbrush it on that thick without getting drips? I don't know. Runs are probably going to happen, but we'll see. At least on a body this size, it's easy to sand out and get started again. Um, yeah, so there's the car I'm working on. There's the 132nd Temia Spitfire uh, engine. I love it. Love it, love it, love this kit. To me, you are, with the, these particular 132nd scale kits, at least this Spitfire, I haven't built the others yet, but oh, I will. I guarantee you, if I live long enough, I will, be, I will build each and every one of them probably more than once. Uh, and totally agree with uh, Fernando Duarte. They are engineered probably more than the actual aircraft itself was. Um, guys, if I can bounce off a topic real quick, I'm sorry to bounce around, but I really want to get this video up since I've made several eh, new thoughts pop in and it doesn't happen. Um, I've started some figures. The blue here on this figure, I think I'll either paint over or I'll try again. I'm trying something which, whether it's been tried before, I don't know. I don't have gaming paints. What I do have is a decent stock of tattoo ink. And it's this is more good practice ink. I wouldn't go using this in somebody in skin. I wouldn't do that to them. That tends to fade. Um, but these figures won't be seeing sunlight, so it should hold pretty fast. Uh, but what I do wish I would have done is added a bit of uh, varnish. Toughen it up just a smidge. Um, so I think I will. And I will continue painting these figures. Brian, Atomic Dog 32, did a, mention some figures in his video and it reminded me holy cow, I need to get those down, remove some seams, and get to priming and painting. And so there you have it. And then there's one back here, the little guy, Freddy, Freddy Kugatz. Not Freddy Krueger. Freddy Kugatz. He's got the hands, that's for sure. And the paint on this one is just really watered down model color red. <clears throat> and let me see, next thought. Oh, Papa Dan's models. Papa Dan Scales models, sorry. With uh, Caleb's Corner. You guys got to check these gents out. Uh, not only doing some uh, mighty fine modeling work, uh, but... Anybody who can drink uh, chocolate mood juice 
at the rate that uh, you consume it, Caleb, uh, is destined to be uh, a model extraordinaire without a doubt. That or a train engineer. Train engineer is good too. So, the Record Setters Group Build. This starts March 1st through the end of July. Last day in July. If you want to go ahead and do a start video, uh, maybe mention the record or records that your item holds or has held on YouTube on March 1st. March 1st. Upon completion on or before the last day in July, you can send your photographs. Hopefully take some nice spiffy photographs, clean background, make it make it look as special as your build was. After all, you're going to spend some time on the build. I wouldn't go skimpy on the photographs. Matter of fact, the larger the file format, probably the better. The largest that your email will support you sending. How's that? Uh, to ghosttangent at hotmail.com Aaron Newland says, let me know if you want to take the time to write an article, maybe a review, that that will also uh, get published. That's mighty fine of you, Aaron, because hopefully there will be enough interest in this and the magazine that uh, I'm kind of looking forward to the educational value of it to see not only what people pick, but uh, what their interests are as far as records. Uh, and of course, they're just below ghosttangent at hotmail.com. That's where you mail your pictures and articles to. To be published towards the end of August, maybe a little bit longer, to putting it all together depending on uh, how much interest and participation there is to be seen in Model Misfits magazine. That's where the reveal is going to happen. For further information on the magazine, if you're missing an, a magazine like I am, one or two actually, they can be found at fugitiveminiatures.com. Uh, and I will take this moment to shout out the magazine because where else are you going to find a magazine that is 100% content toward your hobby and is not cluttered with ads and um, leaflets for subscriptions? I mean, come on, six bucks for a store-bought magazine and you're getting 90% rubbish, 10% what you care about, your hobby, techniques, pictures, articles, this completely different. 100% and nicely done. When you take a look at it, you'll see that it's professionally done and somebody has spent an awful lot of time putting it together. So kudos to you for that, Aaron. Very fine job, sir. Hope you and the kids, the family are doing well and staying warm, sir. Okay, moving on to the uh, one thirty second Spitfire. Here it is. It's got a coat of primer on my loosely applied or airbrushed panel lines. And this uh, second layer of panel lines is actually pastels. I have a little bit more of work to do in that department. The uh, flaps went on nicely. They probably could have been done a cleaner install by a more experienced modeler, but I think I got the job done anyway. And It certainly adds a, uh, a little more interest to the kit and well worth the money. Um, there again, just more uh, powder chalk lines and we'll give it another ghosting. Probably not primer. I'll probably start with main body colors heavily thinned main body colors next and then I'm going to recharge the camera and do some special weathering techniques to the 109 and uh, use it as a test bird for some new things and like I said I'd like to run the camera while I do that and see if maybe I can't put that up and see if some folks might find some of it useful sure hope so uh, once again gents the weekend is here. Be safe. Have your brewskis. Stay off the damn road so you don't wipe anybody out. Do yourself a favor. And things is expensive. 
doing things is expensive. Don't forget tomorrow. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day. Remember that, or your wife is gonna, yeah. No nuki san for a long time. Get some flowers or something like that. Cook up a nice dinner. Something like that. Always good. It doesn't take much. A little goes a long freaking way, as long as it's meant. All right, boys. You knew all that stuff. The women have pounded it on our heads with a rolling pin. I'm just kidding. Oh, God, don't send the hate mail. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, any, any thoughts, leave them in the comments below. Uh, whether it be help, if I've done something wrong, or just a chuckle about my attempt at a joke there in the beginning. Uh, all right, guys. Happy building, and looking forward to seeing your videos. Bye.